Hello guys. It's TJ again. I know it's really been long since I last posted any video on this channel. But um, the DIY I have, well maybe it's not really a DIY, maybe if you don't have the, the software. But the video I have for you today is quite an interesting one because today we'll be doing some coding, some programming on this vehicle so i'm in my car and um what i would like to code is um coding for what you call it a digital speedometer that pops right here on my dashboard uh so when when the arrow is in between these um segments uh, you can't really tell if it's 135 or 136 but on a digital speed, you really be able to just read out the figure and you know the exact. It's just something I, I like. I think uh, oh, such options will, will, will really go according to preference. So I have my laptop here. I have my um, diagnostic cable. It's, uh, it's an impact -com compatible cable. I won't be using Easter today. Okay. So what you do is um, I really just uh, kind of rush through. First things first, this is the port I configured my um, my, 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 my com port to. So I'll be using this port. I haven't plugged it uh, in yet. So I have it. I have it, this cable, this version of the cable is... Um, a switch to switch from the K line to the DCAN interface. Um, so I will plug it into my OBD2 port. Okay, it turned red. My there's a sound that came from my computer that confirms that uh, there was. You just plugged in a device from the audio jack. I'll uh, plug out. I think that's when I took the laptop from inside the house. Uh, I think I'll, I'll just. This is more comfortable. So I have my connection. It's fine. Um, I haven't really turned on. The car is off right now. I have my keys in my hand. So what I'm gonna do right now, um, is I would like to show you something. If I open in par will be coding using yeah, NCS expert but if I open in par as you can see it's detecting that uh, there is a battery since this cable is now powered but my ignition is off so um, if I plug in my my key still the ignition is off so without my foot on the brake I'm not starting the car I'm just turning on the ignition I'll press once without my foot on, on the brake or the clutch, if you have a manual. Once. My ignition oh, my ignition is now on and it shows that it's on here. So I'm only using in part. This is mainly for diagnostics, but uh, right now I'm, I'm I'm using it just to, to make sure that my communication with the car is fine. So once all these uh, these two dots are black on on the battery and ignition, we can now um, we can now close impa and uh, get to 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 to, East, to to NCS expert, which is the one we'll be using to to code. So I have some steps that are on a notepad. Uh, I will put that in the I will put the steps in the in, in the description. Um, I'll have them open right here, just by the side, so that we we can see as we as we go about it. Okay, so these are my steps. First things first is um, load the profile. Uh, so you come up here to file. Um, choose load profile. We'll be using this uh, expert mode profile and click ok um, 
the next thing is press f1 so that um ncs expert de come like detects um my car or reads information from my car what kind of vehicle it is the chassis and v number and stuff so i'll click here on or just click f1 and once you you click f1 you can click f3 the to get um to where you can choose the chassis mine is an e90 so that's under e89 for all e90s e91 e92 up to e93 um once i choose my chassis i can the, 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 the uh what we want to code is within the cas module so select cas click okay sorry for the flashlight but my my mouse is right here click ok so it has read the information there is my VIN number and some other information that I don't really understand that's fine we don't care about that so once we're here it has read the information we can click back now we want to choose uh, we are at this we are at step number six by the way okay now we choose we choose process ecu this one or f4 click process ecu um it will ask us which ecu we would like to process we want the combi which is a uh, dutch for cluster instrument cluster so it step number eight we select combi we select okay um from combi we choose change job you see it's it's written sg codering i think it means coding or something um we want to to change it to be this is the the, the job name you choose when you want to be to start coding it's like a, a process or an action but we don't want to be coding we want to read what's already or um, what what's already activated on 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 the on the combi ecu so we click change job and we click we, we choose code year 13 lesson i think it's german for something like um read coding or something like that but we are reading we want to read what's already there so we, cho we choose code year lesson which is step number 10 um click ok then we want to read the ecu we've just changed the, the job name we've changed the action so now we are processing it to to read the ecu something will pop up coding now now this is what's written but at this point it, it means gibberish to us so we just close this page uh, at this point we are at point number 12 we were closing the window that pops up um so right now what we want to do is the file that was just read is saved under this path um cncx expert uh, work fsw underscore psw dot trc so we want to open that file with um notepad so you go to your c uh ncs expert we come to work we open this there are two files there are these fsw underscore psw it's there's one man file and there's a trc file notice that the man file is zero kilobytes and the trc file is nine kilobytes so we want to open this trc file and once we are here we want to look for um it's bc underscore digital underscore v we had option we had, we had step number 14 this one find bc underscore digital underscore v so from this uh file that we opened i think from the look of it it's, it's, it's really it's really a big file so i think it would be used for it would be useful if i use a search pc underscore um, digital underscore v find and here it is so we close uh this so to activate it as you can see it's written uh niche active which is german for not active so what we would like to do to activate it as you can see this one that's written lmr live is written active 
means it's active so what you simply do is delete this part and that means we've 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 commanded uh, this option to be active now we save this file save as this is the important part guys we want to choose all files and now we are saving this as a dotman file the one that was zero kilobytes earlier dotman file click save uh, it will ask you there is one already exists blah 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 just click replace and you can close this one notice that the one these two files are now of the same size uh, this was zero kilobytes earlier so we can minimize that close it whatever you want uh, these are the steps we took we found the bcdrv which is uh, the digital speedometer value that we changed from not active to active uh, we saved the file to um, psw.man and now we had option number 17 we go back to on, uh, ncs expert and choose uh, change job remember what we did earlier was when we changed the job we're ch changing it from sg quadrian which means uh SG Codierin in, in, in German means, um, I think it means something like uh, coding or code, something like that, or programming or program. Uh, but it's the job that you use when you want to start coding. So we changed it from that one to Codier Datin Lesson, which means uh, read code, read uh, uh, what's already on the file, something like that. So now we want to code. We want to we want to to upload the changes that we just made to the ECU to the computer of the car. Um, so we we choose uh, SG Codierin. Um and once we do that, we can execute job with F3. So now it's reading from the man file. Um, if we execute the job now, it's upload. It, it will start uploading from the man file to the computer box. So execute job. It starts coding. And coding ended as you can see and it restarted uh that's why my car my car is is reset here it has reset like uh the the, the time and and the, um, the 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 speed also i'm just gonna quickly uh correct my time here is 9 11 pm so this um Twenty one. I just put it to twelve. Okay. Um. So now is uh once once I've uh, I, 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 we've done that I I usually want to make to to get out of this menu. Uh, close my NCS expert. Um. I'll unplug my cable from the port there now so now i'm going to start the car and see if i have a v is equal to something uh which means the, the, the that's i think it's velocity it's v for velocity so what it means is i will, i must have a digital speedometer somewhere here so i'm going to start the car notice that i'm in i'm in park so i'm going to shift to drive and um if I press this PC button, PC button again, PC button, PC button. Now I'm here. My velocity is zero kilometers per hour. I don't know if I have enough space to be moving there, but I will try to just move a little so that this changes, so that you can see that uh, uh, it's now uh, updating and it, it shows you the, the your speed right there. So just try to move a little. As you can see, I was now moving at about approximately three kilometers per hour, but unfortunately, I don't have enough space to continue moving. But it worked, guys. Um, so yeah, that's how you go about it. There's a lot of stuff that you can code. There's a lot of stuff that you can customize on this car. Um, I will be doing more DIYs. I will be doing more videos on. Um, programming of these things and um yeah uh, some of your cars guys can okay look at this 
there is a trick that if you pull out the car like like if you pull out the key like this for those with keyless cars if you pull out the key within 10 seconds put it bent stay uh, within 10 seconds of pulling it out touch your car it will start but that's just not fun with my car i can at any time be putting these keys even in my pocket anyway in this car even here okay uh my battery just went low so it won't be able to use the flash so I'll just be using my 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 my, uh, my light here so i was saying anyway even if i have the car the the, the car keys here as long as they're with, within so i'm not sure of the actual proximity but as long as they're within the car i can actually just start the car and i will be on my way so that's really cool like having your car keys in your pocket you don't have to worry about misplacing them you know they're always in your pocket for those who love putting them on their on their belts it's 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 they're always there you can start the car you can I, i'm sure that the, from the time i pulled the keys and from the to the time i started it's, it's really past 10 seconds so it's really a cool feature um i think those are some of the things that you all might like um they are all codable within ncs expert like you can really really mess around it you can customize a lot of things uh some of the features are in my video which i i was uh i think it's titled some cool features on my bmw you can find it on this channel um yeah so that's it for 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 this video guys i hope you liked it um so until we meet next time, peace out.